Again, thank you for the warm welcome here. And it's a pleasure for me to be here the second time in a few months already and to have the chance to tell you what I think on the Agenda 2030 and to discuss a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit in a hurry because we have at uh, 2 uh, p.m. a meeting with our Ministry of Labor, Andrea Nales, on the uh, law, uh, to, to regulate the laws for striking uh, you experienced maybe in the last uh, couple of days uh, or weeks. Uh, so we want to change the law there and we have a meeting on this. So unfortunately I have to leave uh, the 10 minutes to two. I'm sorry for that. Therefore I suggest that I just um, point out uh, some of my ideas and that we have at least some minutes for discussion uh, also left, so I think that is hopefully also in your interest. I think Germany is today still uh, in a quite good shape, despite all the previous profits of doom. Uh, our economic basic data is still uh, quite good. We have today the highest not only percentage, also on uh, number of people uh, working we ever had in Germany. Now we have almost 43 million people who are working, and everybody who is working pays taxes and uh, pays uh, in the social security uh, network, and therefore uh, it's, uh, we are in a quite good shape, and we have the lowest unemployment rate we ever had. We have the highest investment in R&D, 3% uh, of our pro-national product is uh, now reinvested for research and development for further innovation. Despite of the fact uh, we are well off today, I think if we are not uh, keep on uh, doing or uh, changing our uh, instruments for the future, we will not be in the same uh, good position than we are uh, today in the year 2014. And therefore, I think we need an Agenda 2030. That's 16 years from now. What are the challenges uh, in the next uh, 10 to 15 years? And they are different from the Agenda 2030-2030. 